Yes, guys, you know what time it is. It's your boy, David, at the Irish Hotspur, Ireland's number one Spurs fan. Uh, bringing you a review of, of, of the FA Cup disaster, lads. Um, we got bet 5-4. Marcelo usually asks me, guess how they are, but there's no point of asking because I, th- I think we all know how we're feeling. So we're just going to get straight into it. Look, yeah. it, it, it's the same old thing, isn't it? Class attacking yeah. players, sure. absolute champions at the back. Yeah, no, same shit. You know what I mean? And then you want to blame Jose. Well, uh, you know, what I had to say, we, we lost the Hosper way, right? That's that's what, you know, the pot yeah. check rolls yeah, wanted we'll us. Yeah, fighting the army. Yeah, that's what, what all the Jose out, you know what I mean? I remember people tweeting, oh, that, you know, defensive football is not our roots. We go out of attacking. Well, you got that. You got that today. So those people, who, who, you know, saying Jose out. because I still of the, the yeah, no, 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 for you and me. You and me, you, you and you and I said it. We don't care how we play football. We just want to win, right? Yeah. But these people that sat there and said Jose out because <laughs> I hate the football. I rather lose five four. You know what I mean? Than than win a grindy one nil. Well, you got what you want today, so you can't be Jose out now, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Um, look, we'll get into it, Marcelo. We we started fantastically. Yeah. We started absolutely brilliantly. You know, we got we got the early goal, Davis and Sanchez. Honestly, I had to rub my eyes. I could not believe what I was seeing. I yeah. really could not Crazy. believe what I was seeing. But props to the lad. You know, he attacked the ball from a set piece. He got he got, he got a reward. It's something we have been calling out on them live watch longs on Matty Hayes' channel. Like, we get these corners. Why is no one attacking the ball? Well, Sanchez done that today. Fair play. We went one nil up. Fairy tale. I'd say you couldn't believe he scored either. No, good, and especially two goals. He scored two goals, and but I mean, like honestly, yeah, he scored two goals. But then, what's the point? You know what I mean? He's he, yeah. he scores two goals, like he gives, and you know what I mean? He takes and he gives. You know what I mean? Score two yeah. goals, and he and he let in two goals, so it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. We pay him to defend, and he can't defend. So, I mean, yeah. good on him for scoring the goals, it was it was good, but <sighs> look. It... At the at the end of the day, you just can't forget. You just can't forgive what he done at the other end as well. You know, oh, we, awful. Um, yeah. look, I mean, it, it's a hard one to take. Can we it, just talk it, about the defense? Yeah, well, I, I'm going to get on to that now. We'll get on to that now, and then it just went. It went to shreds, didn't it? We before we knew it, we were three one down. We didn't know what we were watching. You know, we let look, in three goals in seven minutes. Three goals yeah. in seven minutes. Yeah, you know what I mean. We also did the same thing with West Ham. We let in three goals in ten minutes that game. We were three yeah. 0 up in eighty min any eightieth minute or like the the eighty eighth minute against West Ham, and we let in three goals. Yeah, that's twice now. That's twice we let in three goals in a span of less than than ten minutes. Shocking, <laughs> David. You know what I mean? Switching off. I, like like no, but David, like it's not even switching off, David. It's just a lack of ability. Yeah, you know I mean? like. I don't think I've seen championship sides that do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like championship defense that do that. Like, no. I, like honestly, David, I watch Brazilian football, right? And, and these guys are literally – some of these teams that I watch in Brazilian football are literally part-time workers. Literally, like yeah. these guys, they play football, and then they go into like their baking shop or whatever the fuck it is, right? Yeah. And those guys defend better than some of these guys have more like defensive work. Like, what is Doherty doing? What is Doherty and Toby doing for that? For that, uh, what was it? The the first goal? No, was it the second? I don't. I can't remember. I think it was a second goal where they play Richarlison on. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, Toby, Toby's just. You know what I mean? Like the the line is here, right? And, yeah. and for some reason, Toby's right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's just like. You're just playing, and then like Richardson is just looking at that. And he's like, "Oh, okay, I can just play from all the way back." You know what I mean? Have loads of space. Like I, I can't even blame you know Sanchez for that or anybody else. They were holding their line. Like like a part of being a good defense is having good organization. But when you're yeah. that fucking far off your line, your defensive line, that is so fucking horrendous. Like David, I, I, I like honestly, I would get chewed out if I did that in school. You know what I mean? Yeah. With my mates, like at Sunday league football. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would get chewed out. Like, that is a defensive line. You can't even keep a, maintain a defensive line. Look, we all work with rulers in school. Everyone should know what a simple line is. It's 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 as simple as that, Marcelo. And um, I would understand, and I would understand maybe like, you know, I mean, Sanchez was here and Toby was maybe a little bit far back, you know, just a little yeah. bit here. But like Sanchez was here. Toby was all the way fucking here. You know what I mean? He was all the way even fucking yeah. close to him. 
Yeah, uh, 100%. Uh, look, the first goal, Marcelo, we'll get on to the first goal they scored. I think it was, um, look, there's been that many goals tonight and that much of a roller coaster. Shit, they're all shit um, look, we're, we're a bit all over the place because at the end of the day, we love the FA Cup and um, we, we just flushed down the toilet today. But their first goal, Marcelo, Calvert Lewin, um, look, we just gave them the ball in such a stupid area. Uh, look, no surprise it came out on the left hand side again. Um, and you know what I mean? Look, the first strike was at Hugo Lloris. Um, be defending that. That's shit. Yeah. That's shit. That's another shocker from him. Big game. Yeah, honestly, and he let us that, down again. I said it on the live stream. As a kid on your state, you know, if, if if someone was on your team who was in goals and done that, you'd say, look, buddy, you know, maybe look, you just well field. I'll go in goals because uh, you know that's unforgivable. Bad keeping. But you know, it got worse from there, Marcelo. It yeah. got worse. Yeah. Um, you know, Richardson, that strike, strike from outside the box. Um Look, nobody closed him down, Marcelo. Yeah. Absolutely no, nobody closed him down. He can't blame Lloris for that one. You know what I mean? He didn't no, even he see danced by coming. Sanchez. Danced, that, um, that, you know, Alderweireld looked at him, gave him 10 minutes to pick his spot. And then, yeah. and then you know, by the time he closed him down, Richardson just put the ball through yeah. his legs. Yeah. You know, shocking. Then you go on to the penalty. Look, as soft as it is, it's a penalty. Yeah. To the rule book, as soft as yeah. we sit here and can say it is, and look, Heiberg wasn't looking at him. Heiberg did, was, didn't even know he's there. At the end of the day, it's a penalty. You know, yeah. people, people, like, this is the thing. They know VAR is about. They know VAR is looking at everything in the box and trying to get penalties. You need to be more aware. You need to be more aware where these players are in the box. And this is why we conceded these goals, because no one's aware where these players are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, I have no confidence at that stage that Hugo Lloris was going to save it either. Yeah. No, yeah. And, you know, people, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Hugo today was also very poor, not demanding anything in his box, not coming out of the line. And you know I me, mean? this is a big game. I don't care what you tell me. This is a big game. You know, this is a knockout game. And for yeah. me, that, that that really separates between a world-class keeper and a good keeper. And I think Hugo's he's just a quality keeper. I don't, I don't think you can say he's world-class anymore. You know what I mean? The fact that he, he let us down in a big game like this, you know what I mean? He, do, he does that very often. A lot of some of these players we try to categorize – as you know, world class, they kind of let us down kind of often. And Hugo was one today, just did not demand anything from his fucking box. He looked, yeah. he literally stood on the fucking line for every fucking goal. Literally made it so easy for them to score. You know what I mean? If that was Ederson, Allison, or anybody else, they would have come. Olsen, Olsen, their backup keeper looked better than Lloris today. Mm. I mean, Olsen yeah. made some incredible saves. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. But look, you know, we, we got the goal before half time. Everyone says it's a great time to score myself. Yeah. True. Um, look, sorry, sorry to move on from Hugo Luis quickly, but I do yeah. want to me and yeah. you actually we, we do have a discussion we want to take place on you And yeah. it's not coming for you, Hugo Luis, it's just something we've noticed. But um look, we got the goal before half time. You know, it took it well, yeah. good finish. Delighted. From there, you, you know, we're going into half time, we're sitting there questioning the bottle. We we, we literally said, Look, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now is their time to come out and show us how much they want trophies. Now is their opportunity. Granted, now they came out in the second half. They got us back into it. But as soon as we got back into it, what happened? Dr. Tottenham again. Yeah. And honestly, again. honestly, today, today, honestly, today, uh, David, our offense, for most yeah. part, man, take a bow. Kane, Son, uh, you know, Lamella, even Lucas, Bergwine, fantastic. Looked fantastic. Yeah. Moving the ball beautifully, crossing, looking positive, looking for positive passes. Fantastic. Yeah. The defense, you know what I mean? They did their job, scored four fucking goals. You know what yeah. I mean? But, like, how demoralizing is it if you're, if you're a, a forward and you score a goal and then literally 10 seconds later – your defense less than one. Yeah. You know what I mean? You worked that hard to score a goal. And then you're like, I, if I'm Harry Kane, I'm just literally like, oh, fuck this. Like, what, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. I, I fully agree with you. I, I fully agree with you. Look, the only positive is that I was right about Harry Kane's hair again today. Yeah. I, people ask me, you know, what do you think of his hair? I told him, I said, yeah, no, he looks like he's going to score today. He scored, but he couldn't rescue Tottenham. He couldn't rescue Tottenham. Why? Because our back line. You know, Shit. now look, this brings, this, this brings us on to the Hugo Lloris um, thing. So one thing I've noticed is the reason why Alice, this, this is what separates Alison and Edison from Hugo Lloris. 
Them balls over the top, right? Allison and Everson, they come out, they make themselves big, close off the angle, and make the striker think about the finish. You know, that he, has to be, he, he has to put a bit of curl on it, or, do you know what I mean? He has to be clever when he's finished. Well, honestly, Hugo stays on his line, yeah, and he, he gives them the whole side of the goal. He gives them three quarters of the goal to strike into. You know, put your laces on to that. That's in the net. Yeah. You know, it's not good enough goalkeeping. No. The man has to come out and be brave. He cannot be afraid to come out and take a knock. He can't. Look, as much as I love Hugo, he's been a great servant to this club. You know, I grew up watching Ian Walker and people... <coughs> um, Ian Walker and people like that and goes, painful. Really yeah. painful. Hugo Lloris has um, put the belief back in me that Tottenham can't actually sign good goalkeepers. You know, he's been a great servant. But, you know, look... He, he, he had a poor game against Liverpool. He, he, you know, look, the guy for me, honestly, and I have said this before, We like, this is the season we need to identify his replacement and get someone in in the summer. Yeah. Because, look, I, I honestly start to think he, he, he's coming to pass his best. And and that's just my opinion. I know, I know, I people, I know people are all saying Donnarumma, but honestly, I, I know this kid in Brazil, and I know, like, listen, listen. Brazil has some good goalkeepers. You've already seen it. And I know this yeah. in Brazil in Santos. The Santos keeper, he's quality, man. He's going to be one of the next big stars. You already heard it here first. He's 20, I think yeah. he's a mad young keeper. Quality. Kid is quality. He, he's a good sweeper keeper, too. He's, he, he's like, you know what I mean? He's definitely a prospect yeah. already. And you know what? Uh, if you, 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 don't have, you don't even have to ask me. The Brazil national team already is calling him up. You know what I mean? They yeah. already want him third choice. He's young. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's that's. Listen, I'm telling you, that kid is good. If you want a replacement, I maybe not now, but he's definitely a prospect signing. I would I would want to sign as a replacement. Yeah. He's, I uh, like. But honestly, I, I being honest, Marcelo, I think it's time for maybe we talk about stripping, uh, stripping Hugo Lloris of captaincy. Yeah, um, agree. At, at the at the end of the day, you know, these are games like you know where like especially when the defense is bad, like because there's. There's no excuse for it because you see keepers that like Burnley and teams like that, Newcastle, where their defence is awful. They, they, their goals get peppered, but their keepers make save and the keepers keep them in for as long as possible. Yeah. Hugo Lloris, you know, look, it, it, it's simply not good enough. No. Look, he's not the only one to blame tonight. You know, there, 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 there's, there's five or six of them in it tonight. Like, you know, there's there's also Doherty, um, Mr. Roundabout, Ben Davies, um, Sanchez, Aldevrald. Um, Harry Winks when he came on. Yeah, Heiberg today. Poor. Poor. Let's not hide from the fact Heiberg was poor. Uh -huh. But, you know what I mean? Like, this is your captain making these mistakes. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, we need a goalkeeper that, that that's going to bail us out. And for me, Hugo needs to step up now. Hugo needs to step up, honestly. You know, like, it, it's just disheartening. It's just disheartening. He hasn't been playing well. You know, like, even last season, like, you know, there's games where he came out, he made a lot of mistakes as well in games, shots he could have stopped. I remember at one point last season, we were sitting there discussing Hugo Lloris because he was on that poor of a form. And it, look, it's just not good enough. But Marcelo, honestly, I, I, I'm just, like, the fact that the game went to extra time, we still lost, it, it doesn't bode well going into this City game. Yeah, it's um, not especially the defence we have, how good room. they are. The fact we played extra time today. It's yeah. not good. But honestly, man, I, I'm, so, I'm, at, I'm, I'm, I'm so disappointed. I'm at the point. Let's fuck it. I mean, like, Hugo, great servant. You've, you've had your time at the club, but you've been here for seven years and you haven't won us fuck all. Yeah, I mean, what? Like, everybody's saying, oh, like, oh, these players deserve it. These players deserve it. These players deserve trophies. These players deserve... Like, not, you don't deserve anything. You earn it, for fuck's sakes. You know, yeah. these, players, these players had a chance to win league titles. You know what I mean? Semifinals. How many fucking semifinals they bottled under Pochettino? How many yeah. league, league title runs have we, like, we bottled under Pochettino? I think it was, like, two or three. You know what I mean? We had to beat Leicester to win the, yeah. the league. You know what I mean? Leicester, dude. And then, yeah. you know what I mean? We were one game away from a Champions League. You know what I mean? 90 minutes of football. Anything can happen, David. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, seen some, I've seen some team. Like, my team, my local club, Corinthians, right, played Chelsea. I always say this. They played Chelsea in a Club World Cup final, right? Now, you want to know a fun stat? Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Literally cost more than their whole entire squad together. 
Yeah. When they played Chelsea and they beat them 1-0. How did they beat them? Passion, fight, desire. That's the only thing those yeah. guys needed in that in that, in that final in the yeah. Champions League and then didn't show it. So as far as I'm concerned, oh, oh, like these players deserve trophies. So, you know, Lloris deserves a trophy. Lloris deserves like, like, fuck off. Like, he, you know what I mean? Like. Not with errors like that, you don't. Not with errors no, like that. No, no you don't. No. And another player I want to talk about because it his form recently has just been unforgivable. It's been absolutely shocking. Um, it's been Ben Davies. Um, honestly, when I when I seen him being being outpaced down the line and outdone by Seamus Coleman, right? Honestly, I knew we weren't winning the game. We're, we're talking about Seamus Coleman, and and every time Ben Davies turns, you know he takes about ten steps out wide and then tries to come back in. You know, now, you only ever get away with that if you have the pace. Now, I don't know whether Ben Davies thinks he's Usain Bolt or something, but honestly, the guy suffers from delusion, uh, delusions of grandeur. Like, you're being outdone you. by James Coma. He, this, guy is, this guy is coming to the very end of his career. You know, he's nowhere near the same player. He had a broken leg. He's lost pace. I've seen it. I've watched him with Ireland. Like, Bat Doherty has replaced James Coleman in the Ireland squad. And he's being outdone. By Seamus Coleman, Ben Davies, and he got outdone by Pascal Gross. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And people say, oh, he doesn't get the help defensively. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Anytime they get the ball out down his side, he's Bravo 30 yards tucked inside. Yeah. He's 30 yards tucked inside behind the side centre back. And you're looking at him, you're like, okay, so what part are you when that ball was in the air? Top, maybe I better make a run over towards it. No, you wait yeah. till he controls it and then you start running towards it. Be proactive, man. Do something. You're a major part of the problem right now. Yeah. No, li literally, I'm telling you, him playing for, for Spurs or him playing football in general is not good for his health. David, he's getting spun way too much. I honestly think his brain is – it's he, he's going to get a concussion. You know what I mean? He's getting like, spun that much. He's like a Beyblade, lad. Yeah, like he doesn't even know where the fuck he is half the time. You know what I mean? Like I've never seen – like I, I – I remember I told Arian this, and I know Arian watches this. I remember I said it like, Arian, like, how can you tell me this guy is good enough to be a backup? He's getting spun like it was the game against Polidiv. You know what I mean? The beginning yeah. of the Europa knockout game. I literally saw him get spun by a factory worker. Now, I'm not even, like, yeah. joking. Half yeah. of those players were fucking factory workers. Yeah. Hard time. Yeah, and he got time. absolutely spun by them. Absolute, he got absolutely roasted by a part-time Football, yeah, and I'm like, if you think this is good enough to be backup, oh my god, imagine when we get into an FA Cup where we need you need yeah. to rest our main player and we need to play him, and he's playing against the likes of like Richarlison or you know what I mean, like uh, like Mane, you know, Sane, like any of those, any of those guys, yeah. you know what I mean, like imagine, well, not Sane because he's in Bayern, but like you know what I mean, like any of those guys, imagine if we need to depend on him and he's playing against those guys, he would get absolutely fucking destroyed, and that's exactly yeah. what happens. Like he's not good enough to be backup. Like put this in your brain. Like if you want to win the FA Cup, right? You want to get top four. You <laughs> need to get backup. You need a proper backup. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. This guy brings nothing to the game. He gets spun. He can't defend. He can't cross the ball. He can't. Like, the amount of times I just see him try to pass forward, David, and just hit the player. Yeah. You know, but look, this is the seven out of ten that people have been telling us that we get every week out of Ben Davies. Seven out of ten, seven. guys. This, this is what people literally said to me. This guy is a seven out of ten every week. You know, look, he's not going to be great going forward, but this guy can defend. Absolute nonsense. Look, I've been saying it since my um, Europa League uh, group stages. Go back and check check the previews and the reviews. I've con been consistent. I've said the guy isn't good enough. No, he Brings isn't. me on to another guy. Like, look, we've already talked also, about. No, no, no. Can we, can we say one thing? Alabama. Can I call? Yeah. Can I call one person out? Where Where is all the people? Right when the Stoke game happened and Ben Davies scored, and he said, "You have pie in your face," yeah. and that I look like an idiot. You know what I mean? Because you said that Ben Davies is good enough. Where are those people recently? I'm sorry, like. Where are yeah, like it's it's been rocks. crickets here. It's been crickets here. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like almost like like you know fucking the solar eclipse. You know what I mean? They only come out once a fucking year. You know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. And you know this brings me on to another guy that um you know people have said look squad player again um correct me if I'm wrong now I believe squad players um they're supposed to be made for games like today. This is the reason why they were squad player. This was explained to me. Um, now, 
you know, you got what you deserved. Yeah. You got what you deserved, you not deserve me. It. I, I got disappointed. I got let down. Yeah. But then people that told me these are squad players and these are the games, this is why they're here, you got what you deserve today. Because I've been trying to wake you up. I've been trying to tell you. And uh, for me, um, I'm not scapegoating him for today's performance. Do not get me wrong. But Harry Winks had an absolute disaster class when Shocking. he came on. Terrible. And then people, and then, you know what I mean? Like, no offense, but I had some other people comment to me saying, oh, but Hoiberg had a bad game. But I'm like, oh, my God. Like, how many games does Hoiberg come in and show up and, and yeah. you know, become our best man? I can't remember the amount of man of the matches that guy's gotten so far for us. You know what I, I mean? Think, I think the one we're giving it to him every week, Marcelo. Yeah, like, honestly, he's probably our player of the fucking season. And he has one bad game. And then, like, people, like, uh, um, like honestly, I'm not even looking at Hoiberg. I'm like Hoiberg. Like I get you're having a bad game, but like where's the fuck is your teammates? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how many times does Hoiberg bail out? You know these players bail out yeah. Winks, bail out Sissoko for their shit mistakes. You know what I mean? Bail out you know yeah. Toby defense. How many times we see him track back and get the ball back for us? You know what I mean? Like yeah. he. And then when he's having that bad game, when he's finally off, when it's not his day in the office. Winks just completely gives him the middle finger and tells him to like fuck off, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just leaves him hanging out to dry. And then people like, I, honestly, I'm sick of this fan base. I'm getting to a point. I'm sick of this, like, because we're we're getting to a point where I see people blaming Hoiper, like, like uh, roasting Hoiper. You know what I mean? And like saying Hoiper out. It's like, yeah. I, like, okay, like, no, no, like, I'm like, okay, so like, you defend Winks. Like, um, like to an extent that is unbelievable you defend Winks to an extent that's unbelievable like like David and I have brought up stats that are shocking shocking yeah. any top six club this guy would be sacked like been been kicked out by now you know what I mean some yeah. shocking stats we bring up the evidence eyewitness evidence and you defend him oh he's a good squad player but like you know Hoiberg who has one of the best tackle rates in the league by the way he has a mo one of, like I think yeah. well, he's number six for the most tackle rates, most interceptions in the league. One of the best pass accuracy in our midfield and and in the league actually. I think he, you know, what I mean, like he's he's third or like fourth or something. Yeah, you know, what I mean, I, the guy already has five assists this season, and he, and he's a DM. You know what I mean? Like when you count all of that, all the things he's done, and he has one bad game, and you want him like roast him? You want me to roast yeah. him? Like hang him out to dry? Like are you stupid? Like literally, <laughs> use your head. Yeah, no, look, where I am on that is, look, yeah, look, we do have to sit here. We do have to say he made mistakes. We have to own that. So yeah, does Heiberg. Yeah. But the difference is, Heiberg owned it. You can see it there by his reactions. Yeah. Other players, they're all standing there looking at each other. That's your fault. No, no, that's not my fault. That's your fault. It, it was child's play at the back, right? Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I, I, I'll have no problem saying it. Heiberg had a shocker. But Marcelo was right. This guy bails out teammates week in, week out. Now, when he has that one-off day, where are these players to come in, yeah. you know, hold them up and bail him out and help him out with it? I always say with Liverpool. Him. I always say with Liverpool. I'm, like, I'm saying, like, guys, like, Mane, and, like, honestly, if you put Son and Mane, if you trade in with Mane and you put him in our team, he would be having, like, you know what I mean, some of the same performances that Son is having. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you put Son in, in Liverpool, he might even be, be doing better. Because the difference is, right, when 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 Son and Kane are having a bad day, they can't look around for anybody to help. Nobody yeah. steps up. You know what I mean? When when Hoiberg is having a bad day, he can't look around for anybody to help. Nobody yeah. steps up. Even when Toby has a bad day, he can't look for anyone. You know, when Regulon yeah. has a bad day, he can't look for anyone. You know what I mean? Like yeah. nobody steps up for him. You know, in the wing. Like like if you look at Robertson, when he's having a bad day, Trent goes like, "Don't worry, I got you." You know what I mean? When, yeah. when, when, same thing with Trent. Trent has a bad day. Robertson get, uh, goes down there help him. You know, when Mane yeah. has a bad day, you look at Salah. No, I got you on the goals. You know what I mean? Firmino, yeah. even Firmino. You know what I mean? Like, you look at Henderson. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can help, help you out. You know what I mean? Like, Fabinho. Like, they, they yeah. have these guys that can work off each other. You know what I mean? Where even if they have a bad, gay, bad day, they'll, they'll, they'll back them. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like... Yeah. No. It's shocking. Shocking. I fully agree. I fully agree. But look, you know, I, I do want to talk about Wings because he gave away the ball for the winning goal um, with an absolute stinker of a touch. Um, you know, and it just went down here from there. Honestly, you know, the guy was not making tackles. He took no. an absolute stupid yellow card just to show the passion that um, everyone tells me this and guy he has. Out too. 
you look know, proud and, of that yellow card. And you know, he didn't show any of the creativity in his past forward that people told me he have. Um, he didn't show any ball retention, which also people told me this guy has. Um, it was an absolute disaster, class. Absolute Shit. disaster. Shit. Um, Shit. You know, and this is a guy that needs to gonna, and like I said, like I said, I'm not scapegoating the guy, but I, at the end of the day, if I can sit here and talk about Heiberg having a game, I'm definitely sitting here and talking about Harry Winks having a bad game. Absolute shocker. And this is why I keep telling you people, these guys are not the backups. These guys are not good enough to play a backup. They're not good enough to come in and fill the holes during the season, like people tell me, they're just not. It's as simple as that. Um, uh, another thing we noticed, Marcelo, taking off Lamella, um, it actually changed the way we attacked the game. Um, as soon as we took off Lamella, all we were doing was just hitting half the balls into the box. That was it. As soon yeah. as we took off Lamella, creativity was gone. Yeah, no, no. All the creativity, all the intensity. And, you know, honestly, people are saying, oh, we can't start Lamella against City. I don't know what game you were watching. I, the only person I want to see in that midfield, I don't want to see Deli Ali. Not after that. We'll get on to that next. Uh, yeah, we'll get on to that next. But, like, Lamella was like, you know what I mean? And 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 we sat here and we criticized Lamella. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I'm one of them. I'm one. And honestly, I think my criticism is fair because we always said he's a good footballer, but he just gets when injured he's all on the time. Field. Yeah, when he's on the field, but like, yes. you know, what I mean, he just gets injured, and we are right. But like, L Lamella was incredible as a, as a, as an attacking midfielder. Yeah. Fantastic. He's incredible against West Brom as well. Yeah, and like he he stole the ball, positive play, always looking forward. You know what I mean? Good pa him and him and him and Mora working very well yeah. together as well. Like I thought it was very positive today. We looked very crisp, especially on the counter. Him and Moore working well, you know, with Solnaldo. Yeah. It was very some very beautiful and and you know, link up play. But like then then yeah, like Lamella was was great, you know what I mean? He, yeah. he can hold his head high. And he got us that second goal that we needed. You know what I mean? Beautiful second goal. One hundred percent. Um I actually want to say the Dali Ali thing to last myself, if that's okay. Yeah. Um so what we're going to do is now we're going to talk about Son. Um, look, I think he got two assists, didn't he? But at the end of the day, he had a helping hand in all four goals. Should, should, should have gotten four assists, if we're being yeah. honest. You know what I mean? Fantastic today. He was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Maybe he didn't have the goals, but he was creating so much. I mean, he yeah. was ripping that left-hand side. He was creating yeah. so much chances, which makes you wonder. I mean, imagine if Regulon. I mean, like, I know you can't say that because they didn't have Hamas as well. You know what I mean? Imagine if they yeah. did have Hamas. We would have been, we would have, oh, that would have been ugly. We would have been picked apart. Yeah. More. So, you know what I mean? Like, but if we, imagine if we had Regulon on that left-hand side with, with Son, you know what I mean? Sonaldo was ripping Stop, them you're apart. You're making salivate, lad. Yeah, right. Like, but he was picking them apart. You know I mean, his crossing today was superb. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most of his crosses were very good. And I mean, practically, I know it only says he had two assists. I'm saying he had four assists because he, yeah. he, he really was the main reason why we got all those assists. I mean, that beautiful ball in between, you know, Mina's legs to Lamella. Yeah. I know it clipped off Mina, but I don't care. And then um, you had a corner as well that landed at yeah. Sanchez's feet. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, that, yeah, that uh, those two corners, you know, I mean, fantastic. That delightful ball into Kane. Yeah, I mean, really. He, and, and he was also tracking back very well, getting the ball back, you know, I mean, looking. Yeah. I mean, honestly, aside from the goal, he, he had a perfect game, nine out of 10. Yeah, he had a perfect game. Opinion. Brilliant. He was fantastic. Yeah. And look, I, I criticised him the last few weeks. And to be honest with you, I think I was right to criticise him. But, you know, at the end of the day, the guy steps up and he stepped up today. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Fair play, Sonny. That's why we call him the Korean King. And Marcelo, that's why we love him. Yeah. Um, just touching on Lucas Moore. I, I, um, not too much to talk about with Lucas, um, other than the fact that I actually thought he had another good game today. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Honest, I thought he was yeah. positive. Again, yeah. picks up the ball, drives at them. What more do you want? Yeah, Bergwijn, yeah. Bergwijn, Marcelo. This guy is—he's he, really annoying me again. He yeah. didn't do didn't do too much today. Kind um, of was one of those passengers. I mean, he looked okay. Really but he was very—he was pretty passengerish. And you know, what I mean, yeah. like it, it just made me wonder, like, why are we giving up? You know, the left side for Sonaldo. You know, what I mean, we're putting Son in the position he doesn't usually doesn't usually like to play in. Yeah, and uh, I'm getting to a point where. You know what I mean? I know Bergwijn. I even I even said we should have played him. You know what I mean? He'll do the def defensive work. And uh, honestly, I'm getting to a point where I'm going to stop defending him. You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. he doesn't deserve the abuse that he gets. But just, you know what I mean? It also doesn't take away from but, some of the performances that he's having. It's shocking, look, really. For me, for me, look, the abuse is a separate issue. I think a lot of us took it easy on him because yeah. of that abuse. 
Um, but at the end of the day, it still doesn't excuse him from for his criticism on the pitch. No, um, no I, sure. in, in my opinion, the, the guy, the guy is just not performing. No, it's as simple as that. There, there's there's not more to be really said on it. I don't know what you could do for this guy to get him going. Um, hopefully, from in my opinion, it's just chalked down as a bad season, and yeah. um, you know, hopefully, he can pick up uh, a run towards the end of the season and carry that into the following season. But for me, just uh, I hope it's just chalked down as a bad season. And that's all it is with the kid. Um, look, we we also brought on Carlos Vinicius, another thing these uh, Mourinho out people wanted. You know, bring on Vinicius, let's go for the game, let's go for it. But again, the guy done absolutely nothing, offered nothing. Um, you know, and it's clear to see what what why he doesn't why he doesn't play. Yeah, I mean, he wanted Malik, he wanted Diego Costa, he wanted all these other, you know, Bilotti, I believe as well. Bilotti, um, Warhorse, yeah, Verhorse, wanted all these other guys. And he was shocking today too. You know what I mean? He was bad. Well, maybe. He should have scored. Well, he should have scored that one. He should have scored that one. Yeah. To be honest, if, if like yeah. if we hold, me and you both said on the live stream that was the chance, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, and you know honestly, if he should have scored two of those, you know what I mean? There was one yeah. where he was one on one and he missed that. You know, well, Olsen had a good save, but still should have done better. And then there yeah. was another one where it was the header. And I said we we yeah. had one, and I said it. We have one big chance left in this game. And then when he missed that, I I looked at you and I said, "Yep, game's over. Yeah, we lost." Yeah, uh, 100%. Uh, I can't disagree with you there. But yeah. again, a player player performs. He got his goal as well. Yeah, not too much more you can really ask from uh from him. At the end of the day, he was let down by the defense, just like Son, just like Lamella, just like Lucas. Do you know what I mean? Um, and look now now the last half of Mike Marcelo. it's Deli Ali. Now look, a lot of people were telling us to bring back Deli. This kid's the answer. You know what I mean? For completely forgetting that on the back end of Pochi was poor. And again tonight, look, you can tell me he's rusty all you want. At the end of the day, this is the moment he's been sitting there that he's been putting all these things out on Twitter. Well, like this time. is the moment he's been waiting for. Now, well, you know what I mean? What's the difference between him coming in today and a 16-year-old coming in and taking uh, and, and, and taking his chance and going on to forge a career for himself? At the end of the day, as a professional footballer, things don't go your way. You have to be sitting there ready, and when you get your chance, you have to take it. This yeah. guy was shocking when he came on. Shit. Shit. He was shit. And I said it. And then, you know, I mean, like, I love Matty, but Matty was like, oh, Marcel, I think you're being too harsh on him. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's still training. You know what I mean? He's still playing. Like, he, yeah. he, he hasn't been, like, you know what I mean? Like, I know he had a knock and everything, but it wasn't, like, you know, a bad injury he was coming back from. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he's been training this whole fucking time. You know what I mean? He's played other cup games as well, and he looked shit against them as well. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. Come in there and you lose possession like eight fucking times. He lost possession like twenty times, like eight, eight, like ten times. It was ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah. And it's just like you can even see Mourinho. Remember, I, remember Mourinho I, having a go with him. Um, I think it was at halftime of extra time, saying, "This is what I want from you." Pointing, "This is what you have to do." And Deli Ali just kind of like, you know, well, I'm just going to do Deli Ali. No, yeah, Deli Ali arguing with him back. What's it coming to like, Marcelo? Like I, I don't understand. Like I, I, uh, like I had the discussion with Josh, and listen, I even defended Ali. I said, you know, maybe we should be playing him a little bit more. You know what I mean? Playing rotations. I'm not saying he's the answer. I always said, I know, I'm not saying he's the answer. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you, fairness, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I always just said, you know, what I mean, like if he's there, you might as well, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I rather have an attacking player than you know trying out winks at you know attacking you know midfield. Mm. You know what I mean? For fuck's sakes, I had to watch that. That's horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather watch yeah. Deli Alley than that. You know what I mean? But, um, like, yeah, no, I just said, you know, use some rotations. And today, like, fuck me, man. Like, uh, I can't even criticize Jose for that. We can't even use this guy for rotations, bro. Just Honestly, just, Jose gave all these Jose out fans absolutely everything they, they'd be calling yeah. for. He gave them everything they wanted today, Marcelo. Like, how dare he you? gave them Deli Alley. He gave them uh, Ben Davies, Harry Winks. He gave them attack and football. Do you know what I mean? He gave them absolutely everything they wanted today. Can I can I say this, David? How dare he also like? Because I saw this. Mourinho was like, "I need you to do this. I need you to go here." And yeah. then he's talking back to Mourinho like, "No, no, no. This, this, and that." Like how? Like wh where is this ego coming from, David? Where is this ego coming from with them? You know what I mean? Like you have literally won. Fuck all. And you're talking yeah. with a guy, a manager, a tactician, a brilliant tactician, 
You know what I mean? A guy who's done it. You know what I mean? Who's done it against the best. You know I mean, this is the guy. This is the guy we're talking about who outsmarted one of the best United squads. You know, Sir Alex Ferguson with fucking Porto. This yeah. is a guy who defeated. You know what I mean? Prime Barcelona, prime Pep Guardiola with prime Barcelona, yeah. prime Messi. You know what I mean? Prime Thierry Henry. You know what I mean? With an Inter yeah. Milan that cost half of that squad. You know what I mean? A guy who out out tacted. You know, yeah. the people believe un unbeatable. You know yeah. what I mean, it's a guy that's that's done. Like this is literally like if you took right, David. It's like this is literally like if, if like fucking Holyfield. You know what I mean? Or like Muhammad Ali came back and you know he said, you know what, David, I'm gonna teach you how to do a jab. You know what I mean? You do it like this, and then you said, you yeah. know what, you don't know anything about boxing. I'm gonna do my yeah. own jab. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, where, where's this ego coming from from him? And it's just like, that's so fucking rude and disrespectful because it's like, one, this guy is giving you a fucking chance that really you don't deserve. Let's be really here. This yeah. Is, he's giving him his, like, 50th chance, and you're basically telling him to fuck off. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then people expect Mourinho to be all Mr. Nice Guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, I would have they don't need to suit their own agenda because they didn't want him in yeah. the first bed with that and then, and, then, um, and then, you know what I mean, Josh telling me, oh, hold his hand, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, Josh, I'm going to call you out, bro, you know what I mean? You're telling me, oh, Mourinho needs to hold his hand, hold, give him a hug and his shoulder. Mourinho went to his house and had a talk with him and then gave him a chance tonight to prove himself right. And then when Mourinho simply was just giving him instruction, Deli Ali tells him to basically fuck off. And then yeah. you expect Mourinho to play nice. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think people I think people are just expecting too much. You know what I mean? Too much patience from yeah. this guy. I would have told I yeah. would have I would have took him out right there and then. I would have said, you know what, we're playing with ten men. Fuck you. You're telling me to fuck off. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Um look. It it's a bad night. You know it's a bad night when Tom Davies is the best Davies on the pitch. Um, all I will say to you, Spurs fans, is know your worth. Know how much. No, know, know how much you spend on these jerseys. Know how much you spend on Sky Sports. Know how much you spend on BT Sports. Even the fans that 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 go to the games when when you're allowed in. Know how much you spend on your season tickets. Know how much you spend on travel. Know how much you spend in the stadium, around the stadium, and how much you spend in the club shop. Just remember that, because all I'm going to say is. You don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Marcelo doesn't deserve it. None of us deserve this. None of us deserve this shambles of players we have at the back line at the minute. Years. And 12 years. The only way you get change is by talking about it. And when you talk about it, you usually get action. And when you get action, you usually get change. You know, so you know, when's the last you, time we won that pick up? You won the last time we won that pick up? It's been almost like 30 years now, David. Almost 30 1991, years. 1991, the year I was born. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking even years. I was born there. You know, um, but look, all I say to you fans is, is just sit there long and hard. Think about the amount of money you pump into this club <coughs> compared, to, compared to what you're getting back and weigh it up. But honestly, let's stop skirting around the issues. Let's start talking about the issues. Um, you know, look, I know we, we still have games to go, but only starting to address them in the summer, too late. Yeah. Too late. I'm not, I'm it's not enough time to get the change you want. Yeah. You have to start talking about it now. I don't know about you, but I am sick of seeing these cup opportunities, trophy opportunities slip by year on, year in, year out. Marcelo, we sat here going into the January transfer window. You know, we sat we even even when we were top of the league, we sat there and said, Look, you know, we need we we still need to invest in January. We can get this going until January. Come January, Mourinho needs help, we need to invest, right? Um, and that we didn't want to be sitting here um, at the end of the summer saying uh, another what if story. And unfortunately, it's going to be the I'm same case. You know why? Because you allowed yourself to be distracted between a Josie in and Josie out yeah. on deadline day. And that's it. We got what we, we again, we, we got what we deserve. We, we get it, what yeah. we deserve. Not, boy, not us. Not us. We, we sat here, we said, you know what I mean? We should be focusing on getting players instead of Josie in, Josie out. Look at the bigger picture. 
we said it since Genu like I said it when we were top in the league. Eric Dyer is not good enough. Everybody was saying, "Oh no, Marcelo, you're an idiot." Eric Van Dyer, remember that? Remember that? That was mm -hmm. a that was a thing. I never said Eric Van Dyer. I never said it once in my life. I never said it unless it was mm -hmm. I ironically. I have never said Eric Van Dyer. I always said this guy is not good enough to be Tottenham Hotspurs. And everybody yeah. was making fun of me, saying, oh, we're top of the league. You're an idiot. He's one of the best defenders in the league. I said it. I said it was the Jose system defending him. I say it's Jose yeah. system that defend these guys. We still have – you know what's crazy? You know how shocking our defense is? We still have one of the best defense – like record-wise, we still have one of the best defenses in the league. Mm. It's. I said it. It's Jose system. He is his system is too good, and I said it, if he had two competent defenders, if he if he listen, guys, you watched that game today, right? Imagine if Jose had a prime Vertonghen and a prime Toby Toby, we'd be winning the league. Yeah, you know what I mean. You yeah, know I mean? imagine if you have a prime. Imagine if Jose had a prime Vertonghen, prime Toby, prime Walker, prime Rose. Nobody's conceding against us. No. Nobody's conceding against us. No, you know what I mean. Well like, we're, 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 yeah. like, you give this guy competent defenders, you know what I mean? His system works. But, like, everything, every time we get scored on, it's not – it's individual errors. It's one guy making a stupid yeah. mistake. It's nothing Jose can control. Yeah. So it's like if you give, if you give Jose – a Milinkovic, you know what I mean? Or, you know, you go out there, give him a Skraniar or or Kunat, you know what I mean? You give him any of these guys. I'm telling you, yeah. we're, we're not conceding. Give him a Max Aarons. We're not fully, conceding goals. Fully agree with you. I fully agree with you. Look, we're, go we're going to end it here. Um, All I can say is, it's it. look, lads, it's been a long day. It's been a disappointing Another day. Another time therapy. I needed this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. We all need it. Look, um, big thank you to you, Marcelo. It's not easy yeah. to come on and do it when you're losing. I didn't it want really to. Isn't. I'm not going to lie, um, but I was like, fuck it. I can't sleep today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm the same. I'm the same. Um, look, big up for everyone watching as well. It's it's not easy to go in and, 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 and listen to negativity about your team when you lose, but at the end of the day, this is this is what we're going to be getting more or less from here on out to the end of the season. Um, if the Harris Army pick up the Harris Army today as well, actually they got over to the football terrace in numbers. They got into the comments and they really made themselves known. And um, one last request for you is if you could really do it for me, is if you could get over to that video on YouTube and get a comment in underneath, give me a good comment. Um, at the end of the day, look, it was a good show. I, 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 um, I thought I gave it a good go. And um, you know what I mean. Uh, I was the only one on there, Josie, Josie in. But my God, did I spin me that on there? Those guys had any balls. They should have put me in there. They they yeah. would they wouldn't have stood a chance. You know what I mean? And yeah. I still think you give them a, you know run for their money. You know what I mean? One guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Imagine me and you there. Nah, they wouldn't have stood yeah. a chance. You know what I mean? Um, like like uh, honestly like honestly I'm sick and tired of it. These like I'm just gonna start calling those players. Like, Alex, you're a clown, man. You're literally a clown. You're saying to me this guy. You know what I mean? I'm 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 done. I'm seriously done. I'm gonna start like I love you, Alex, as a person. But as a fan, you are a clown, man. You're telling me you sat here and said that Solis Campbell is your is your Tottenham hero, and then you said Devison Sanchez is good enough to be at Spurs. Literally, like, w w like get to a point where you wake up, man. You know what I mean? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. You're in dreamland right now. You know what I mean? You say Winks is good enough, and that we need you know we need to sell some other players. You know what I mean? We need like I, I don't know what what land you're seeing. I don't know if like maybe you're. You have like a, an Arsenal fan that's you know putting mind tricks on you, like Jedi mind tricks. I don't know what it is, man. But wake up! Like you can't sit here and tell me those guys are good enough, then say you want you want trophies. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Look, Alex, a really nice lad. Really have Great I really guy. do have good Great time for him. Let me stress that enough. I, I have good time for him. Uh, but we, we don't we we don't agree when it that's comes to football. Yeah. Um, also, I, I want to say thanks, thank, thanks very much to the to the football terrace for having me on. Um, really do appreciate it, and thanks for giving me the platform. Uh, I, I hope I offered something to your show as well. Um, and look, yeah, all we can do is um, try and lift their heads up. But being being disappointed, another cup opportunity gone. But look, we roll on. We roll on side to the Man City game. Um, oh, you know me, usually Mister Positive, not really looking forward to it anymore. No. Um, completely I'm looking, I'm lo honestly, I'm not looking forward to that Wolfsburg game. I, I'm going to be doing now. Man City one. I already told you I'm not going to be doing a watch along with that because I have work. 
Yeah. But I'll be doing one for the Wolfsburg. I'm not confident about the Wolfsburg game. I don't think we're going to win the Europa League. And this is Jose Trophy. I'm telling you, those players yeah. don't want it. it Jose 100%. wants it. Those players don't. I'm done with 100%. it. Look, I've been going since half four today. It's yeah. it's now four o'clock in the morning. I've Go been to going sleep. on um, <laughs> same, same, same as Marcelo. Marcelo has been at it as well. But look, big up to the Harris Army. Thanks for tuning in. Big up to Marcelo for coming on. Um, at the end of the day, cut down the drain. Tom Davies is the best Davies. Um, look, we move on. Roll on. In draws to be trust. Come on, you Spurs. To you fans, know your worth. Enoch, buy me some centre-backs. Yeah.